Are you recording? Okay, so I'll show you a few options that you can use in your kitchen to carry out this investigation. And this is what this is the simplest option. So those of you who want quick and simple, this is what you would uh, what you could do. You just take um, a measuring device and you measure how much water you're going to put into the into your kettle. So remember that one milliliter is one gram or one liter is one kilogram. So a good uh, way to start off would be maybe 200 milliliters. I take that here, measure exactly 200 milliliters. Um, I'm not going to do it as precisely now as you will uh, when you're doing this. And then you just put that into your kettle. Don't forget to actually measure the temperature. If you do have a thermometer, measure it. If you don't have a thermometer, if you're stuck, then what you could do would be to just record uh, an estimate and a good estimate for cold tap water would probably be something like um, 14 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. You estimate it and um, you can write that later on in your evaluation. Good, then the boiling point of water you know, that's 100 degrees Celsius. And then you just get out your mobile phone and time how long it's going to take for the kettle to boil. So you change the mass of the water in your kettle and you're measuring the time that it takes for the water to boil. That's the first option. The second option, I'll turn this off so you can hear me properly. The second option would be to simply put in a fixed mass of water there. So for example, one liter, i.e. one kilogram, and then measure the temperature over time. So you're starting off, say you have now one liter of water in there, you're starting off with cold water, and you stick your thermometer in, you measure what the initial temperature is, and then you, um, it's turned off at the moment, let's see. Okay, the thermometer is not cooperative. There we go. And then you basically measure every 30 seconds or something like that what the temperature is. You might want to do it a bit more often. If you want to be more precise, you could video the um, your thermometer and just record and then look at the video because you're doing this probably just by yourself. You don't have an assistant and therefore you can then uh, record what the temperature would be over time. Um, try to not reach boiling point, so run a first trial so that um, you don't reach boiling point. Uh, you want to have at least five different data points. So if your fourth data point or fifth data point is would already be above 100 degrees Celsius, then of course the whole thing doesn't work. Okay, I hope I've uh, given you some ideas of how you can do this. Uh, other options are there. Uh, as I've explained on the task sheet, enjoy and shoot me a message on the chat or send me an email. Have fun. Thank you.